Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 7th of 2023 well, it is titled the Helix Nebula from CFHT. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken with what is known as CFHT, or the Canada France Hawaii telescope located in Hawaii on the top of a dormant volcano. So gets it up high in the atmosphere and well up above much of the atmosphere, making it easier to see things from the ground. Now this is the Helix Nebula, which is an example of a planetary nebula. Now a planetary nebula, regardless of its name, has nothing to do with planets. However, what it is, is the end state of a star much like our own sun. So as stars go through their lives, they use up their fuel. And as they use up different stages of fuel, they will expand to become larger and larger stars. So a star will become a giant star that would be many times larger than our sun and eventually a super giant star, which would fill much of the inner solar system in our in our solar system. And at that point, it can become unstable. And in fact, unstable to the point where the outer layers are so far away from most of the mass down in the core, that they are not held solidly by the gravity of that core. And different pulsations can then expel them out into space. And here we see it in almost the shape of a helix. Now the star left over down at the center is what we call a white dwarf star. And it is really just the compact core of this star, most of its mass compressed down to something the size of Earth. So it has really been compressed down under gravity to about as small as anything can be and still retain its atomic makeup as individual atoms. And the outer layers then expel out into space. That central core, that white dwarf, is extremely hot. So it emits a lot of ultraviolet radiation, which will cause the glow that we see in the gases around it. So this is a relatively short lived stage of a star's life at the very end of its life, it might only last a few 10s of 1000s of years before the white dwarf cools off enough, and the outer layers expel outward enough that the white dwarf's energy is no longer sufficient to cause them to illuminate. That material will continue to expand out into space, eventually becoming seed material for future generations of stars. The white dwarf, on the other hand, will remain and will just slowly cool off over time, not changing again. So that was our picture of the day for May 7th of 2023. It was titled the Helix Nebula from CFHT. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Previewed to be Dancing Galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.